Hey, lunch tip. One of the best kept secret of a Wakiva transmitter is the ability to support multiple protocols. So if you are flying a selection of models such as the X350 by Wakira, Hubson X4, Ladybird, Parkzoon Micro Warplane, or anything that uses Spectrum DSM2 or DSMX, even my F450, one transmitter supports it all. All you need is the provided USB cable from Wakira. This is Leo. Today we will talk about the deviation hacking project. I started converting my Devo 10 to deviation when I wanted to fly some Park Zone Warbirds that requires DSMX or DSM2 protocol. So instead of carrying multiple transmitters RAM, I only needed a firmware upgrade to convert my transmitter to DSM2 compatible. It's really simple. You first need the free upgrade software from Wakira. Go to wakira.com, click on service, software update, Download the latest Deepvention Diffuse USB upgrade tools. In this example, version 2. I usually save my files on my desktop so I can easily locate them, but you can put it anywhere you want to. Next, go to the deviationtx.com website. Click on Downloads, select Deviation Releases. Select the latest deviation release, select your transmitter model. There are several models that are supported, pick the one that matches your transmitter. In this example, I'm using Devo 10, click on download. Now unzip all the files by extracting the folders or just dragging them into your desktop. Install the Dimension Diffuse USB Upgrade Tools. Begin the upgrade. Step 1. Plug in your USB cable onto your transmitter and then the computer. Hold down the left EXT button and power on at the same time. If this is the first time you're upgrading this transmitter on this computer, you should see a device installing message at the bottom of the screen. Once the drivers are installed, you will also receive a confirmation message indicating the dimension transmitter has been detected as shown here. You next click the little browse button with three dots and locate your deviation firmware. The file name ends with an extension .dfu. Click upgrade and let the software complete the firmware upload. Once the upgrade reaches 100%, you get a confirmation message that says, Great successful. You can power down your transmitter and begin step 2. Step 2 requires you to hold the right ENT button instead while powering on. If this is the first time creating a USB drive on this transmitter, you will be asked to format the new external drive. Click yes and accept the defaults. This will only format your transmitter drive and will not delete the firmware. A new drive letter will be assigned to your computer, in my case drive F. Copy all the folders and configuration file over to your transmitter. Exclude the debug zip file and the firmware file. Once copied, press enter ENT on the transmitter once. This will disconnect your transmitter from your computer. Power off and unplug your USB cable and you are done. To test your new deviation transmitter, power on. If you receive a throttle warning message, you will just might need to calibrate your sticks again. You may also find that you might need to rebind your old receivers again. 
best way to learn how to set up your models is to download some samples from the forum at deviationtx.com or dromission.com and follow by example. See you in the next time. Have a good day.